We're live. Welcome everyone to Nature Class. I'm your host, Miss Mallory, your instructor for today. And we are learning about the inner earth. I if you are on Instagram, you guys don't get all the super cool banners that are will be on the uh, Facebook and YouTube live. So you guys will just have to play along. So today's activity, we will be talking about the earth's inner workings. You will need some kind of glass jar or glass cup. I've seen it done in wine glasses. It looks really cool. You will also need water, vegetable oil. I do recommend some kind of food coloring because it makes it look so much cooler. I'm going to do red for lava and then Alka-Seltzer. This is the key um, to do all this. So make sure you have that as well. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me. So before we begin, let's learn a little bit about the inside of our planet. We talk so much about what's going on on the outside. So we're going to finally learn about what's the inside. We don't, how can I say this? We don't know 100% what the very inside of our planet looks like. It is so hot and it's so big that it's hard to discover. So if you were to open the earth, this is what it would really look like. The crust, the outside that we live on, is only about 1% of the entire volume of the planet. It's insane. We we look at like the Grand Canyon and we see this vast you know, height difference uh, when we look at our rocks and stuff like that. And really, that's just such a small part. So you can see the lining the skin of the apple represents the crust on the earth it is that thin compared to the rest of the entire inner workings of our planet so the mantle is is mostly solid but it is able to move and it makes up about let me see, 84% of the entire, I have little note cards because living things are my specialty, not the inside of the earth, but it's very important to know as much as we can. So the inside of the earth, 84% is going to be your mantle. It's that magma, that stuff that comes out of volcanoes. And then on the very inside, kind of like where the seeds are, that's going to be your core. That is where the super duper duper hot, hot stuff is located. I'm going to say that for lunch later. So how do we, we're going to talk about how magma works, how it moves about on in the inside of the planet because it's not stationary. And we're going to show you why it's not stationary. It's constantly moving in a, um, a cycle, a process, if you will. And it's a tie, it's called convection currents. Let me make sure I have. So the mantle is about 2,900 kilometers, which is 1,800 miles. That is how thick our mantle is and makes up a whopping 84% of the Earth's total volume. Um, so it moves in convection currents. So the way that works, hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. So this way it works is we have our earth, right? That's a terrible earth. Sorry, guys. And on the inside is our core. And on the outside is the earth's crust. This is so hot that it's constantly melting the magma. And as it heats, it gets energy, which pushes the magma up closer to the surface, right? And that's how we start getting our volcanoes is when it reaches the surface and there's a volcano and it can come out. If it can't, it starts moving along the plates and it starts cooling. It's no longer close to that core. As it cools, it gets denser, starts to drop, and then gets connected, starts heating up, and then starts going back in that. So it's a constant cycle of heating and cooling. It takes a very, very long time, but basically we have a bunch of those circles of heat, those convection currents all the way around the inside of our planet. So let's go ahead and make our own little mantle convection currents. Go ahead, oh, that's too much. 
go ahead and fill your glass or your water with just a little bit of water. We don't want a lot. And add your vegetable oil. Can you guys see? Okay. Okay, so you guys can see it too on YouTube. So you're going to add some oil, and this is you want this to be a majority of about 75% oil, 25% water. I love oil and water. So as you know, oil and water do not mix. And so we're going to use that to our advantage. So you see where the water is, you see where the oil is. Go ahead and drop your food coloring. Hi, everyone. And you want to make it pretty thick. And this is another cool thing to see. So uh, food coloring is water soluble, not oil soluble. So you can see the beads of food coloring inside. Pay attention. So now you're going to take your Alka-Seltzer. This is the fun part. And drop it inside. And so the Alka-Seltzer is going to be releasing carbon dioxide gas. And this is kind of going to mimic a little bit of what happens when the magma gets close enough to the, the core. It starts heating up. So instead of gas, the earth really uses heat to make the, uh, the, the magma rise up. Oh, this is so cool. Do you guys see that? So basically what it's doing is we have water on the bottom. We might need to add a little bit of water, huh? Sweet. <laughs> you guys see it? It's moving around, right? So what it's doing is the carbon dioxide is taking water molecules and pushing it up to the surface. And then when the gas is released into the air, the water becomes more dense than the oil and sinks back down. So this is a very similar current system that the inside of our planet deals with. Oh my goodness, I have so many cool questions. Hi, Heather. Hi, Luke. Hi, Anthony. Thank you guys so much for, for coming in. And yes, um, so convection currents happen outside of the Earth's crust as well. We see this in weather patterns. Um, the really great way that you can see this too is through a closed pot, right? So the heat is giving energy to that water, which is giving it, uh, which is causing it to boil up, then it evaporates, goes into gas, then it reaches the surface where it begins to cool, and then it condenses again, and you'll see the water droplets start coming back down, and the whole process starts all over. So it's a very similar process. And this, let's do some more. And what this is doing, if I can repeat myself one more time, um, and then we'll call it a day, is the alpha seltzer is responding to the water and is creating carbon dioxide gas. The gas is pushing up and along the way is also taking some of those colored water molecules with it to the surface. And as the gas is released, the water starts to condense on top with um, the food coloring that you'll see, and then you'll start seeing it come back down because the water molecules are, water is denser than the oil. So glad you guys think it's cool, because I do. Nature is so neat. The more I learned, uh, just the more I become so fascinated. And it's really crazy. The more you learn, the more you realize you really don't know, because I thought I got the whole inside mantle thing down, and then I started reading some scientific papers on it, and I was like, whoa, I was, I was way off. There's so much stuff. Are you guys seeing? Let's do it up close. So you can see the gas pushing the water molecules up. It's rising up, and then the gases are released the water becomes more dense than the oil and falls back down. So on the inside of the earth, it works the same way, but with heat. So the heat will um, give more energy to the mantle that's on the bottom, which causes it to you know, expand and get warm, right? And so it starts rising up. And then when it reaches the surface, it starts to cool. And as it cool, it becomes more dense. 
and then it starts to slowly fall back down into the bottom part of the cycle where it reaches the core once more on the bottom where all that heat is, and then it does the whole process all over again. Bye, Anthony. Have a good day. But that's your activity for the day. Thank you guys for stopping by, learning about how cool our planet is, wanting to learn more. And I hope you guys have a great day. If you guys have any more questions, please let me know. I am not a huge expert on the inside of Earth. <laughs> I am not no much of an Earth science person. I'm more of a living science person. But I can definitely find the answers for you. So if not, have a great day. Thank you for joining me for another nature class. And I will see you Friday. Bye, everyone. And broadcast. And end.